Well, hello, my friends. I'm Sean Petit, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week, we're having some fun. We're going to be making a concertina journal, and we will complete from start to finish the concertina journal pages here on YouTube this week. And then the final part of the journal will be the, uh, my weekly Sunday inspiration. Then the cover will be um, included in the subscriber, which is subscriber library, which is free or the membership. And so you can get the finishing touches, which is the journal cover and any additional things that we do to the, our project in this free subscriber library. So I hope you enjoy this journey that we will be on. So I'm starting out my project with 11 by 17 copy paper and I will fold it in a, like uh, into like a W almost. And I will use some painter's tape, which is white. Um, you can use whatever tape you want really. Um, and I will tape the sections together. I will tape it front and back. So I'll tape it on the front, flip it over, tape it on the back, and then trim off the edges so that there isn't anything sticking over. And so once I've got that all taped together, it takes a second to kind of refold where the tape is. And mine never really quite quite goes back to the right fold ever, no matter how I make my concertina. So I just let it be what it is. The concertina um, journal to me is such a free form anyway, and I'm not a perfectionist. I don't measure, I don't do any of that. So if you want it to be perfect, you can definitely go to the measures that it takes to make your concertina perfect. You can see how my it's a little wonky. And I'm okay with that because this is for me and it doesn't really matter. So it, you know, you do, you do you. <laughs> so I have this extra flap at the end. So I want my, my covers to fold in. So the front and the back, you see there how we've got that extra flap. So I want to take that off and I just used my ruler and tore the paper and then my cover, my lap back cover flap folds in. So front and then the folder or the um, uh, journal itself. Now I've got my paper, you know, all out and I've got some gesso and I want to gesso the front and the back sides of my um, concertina. And so now it's all gessoed front and back. And this makes my paper stronger. And I'm going to be putting collage papers down, which also makes my paper stronger. Um, and I love creating on copy paper like this because there's no fear. There, uh, there's no risk at what I might be messing up if that is an issue for you. And sometimes when we create with nothing, those are the best creations we make because we have no fear of letting go. So I've just randomly placed my, you know, stash of collage paper. These aren't particular to anything. I just grabbed what I had and put them down. I want this concertina experience to be free. Let go, please let go. That's the whole point of this season of this project is to let yourself be free. So let's activate our creativity right now and just have fun. So I've got some soft pastel pencils. I've got some polychromos pencils out. I did wet my surface because I wanted to have some of that kind of run and be messy. And I, I want to just not think about the outcome of what is going to happen and just play. Just let go and not think about if it's going to be perfect, if it's going to be anything at all. And I, I'm just going with what feels right in the moment and writing numbers felt like the thing to do. Um, I've got my inks out here now and I'm using um, muted green, muted violet, burnt sienna, red oxide, and I've got some water down on my surface and I'll spray a little bit more and I just want to activate my creativity. I have no plan. 
I don't know what this will look like when it's dry. I'm just, I'm doing what feels right, right now. And this felt like the right thing. The only thing that I was thinking about at this point was I wanted to have somewhat of a darker surface in color, whatever color that was. And of course I'm thinking fall, so I'm thinking kind of fall colors. But in this play, um, those two colors, the muted green and the muted violet, um, these are Liquitex acrylic inks. Those two colors, when they mix, they make this really pretty teal. You see that color? I am happy. It's in these moments of play that we find things, that we find ourself, that we find our voice, that we find the things that we love. And letting go is when that happens. And I want so much for you to let go if you decide to create with me in this project or any project like it. So I've got my first colors down and now I want to, I got that dry and now I want to add my warmer colors. So my red oxide, my burnt sienna, my raw sienna. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to mess it up and move it around and put my fingers in it and tap it up with a towel and just let it be what it is. I have no idea how this will look. I'm just playing. And this concertina took me not, it didn't take me very long because I was just in this moment of pure joy of not having, and I was trying not to think about the camera and just be in the moment. And um, it happened, it came together really fast. So I've got my same colors out here and I'm doing the second half. And so you can see here, I'm just, whatever felt right, I just swirl my brush around <clears throat> and now I'll add some water. Let's see if that looks any different. And this paper, once you get your gesso on and your collage papers, it held up under all of the layers. And so I had, to, there was no risk for me if this didn't turn out, except for my time. And to me, that's not a risk because I learned things in the process. And the only way we will ever know is if we do this kind of th thing and let go. So just bringing some of that color all the way around. I'm just having so much fun. So I got that dry. Now look at that background. I could not have planned that. I just had to let go and see what happens. So I've got a soft spun or a, a, like a fabric roller out here that you get from the hardware store. It's three inches. I've put out some unbleached titanium and I've got my um, new stencils, rambling branches, nine by 12, and I've got some five by eights out. And I'm just going to go to town using those. I'm angling them, I'm stamping with them. You can see I'm not planning where these things are going. I'm just going for it. I soften some of the edges so I don't feel like I have any hard lines. But in all honesty, I, I don't, I wasn't thinking too much. And that's the whole point. When we stop thinking, that's when the best art happens. So I just made sure that I kind of softened some of those harder edges and I went for it. So we're down to the last <clears throat> part of the concertina book and I have just worked between rambling branches one and rambling branches two in the two nine by uh, in the nine by 12 and the five by eight. And if I failed to mention all fall stencils are on sale this week in the shop. It's one of the reasons why I decided to do the concertina just to, to kind of do a promo 
but I ended up getting lost in the process and those are the best creative times. Using a roller is really convenient because it goes really fast. And there is my background and that will be the background to all of our sections. So I'm starting to add some leaves. I've used my inky leaves, fall leaves large and fall leaves small. And I've added some um, leaves all the way around mixing some red oxide, some olive green, some sienna, and um, just along the edges without really too much of a plan. I've painted some of the masks. You can see that mask there. I paint them and stamp them and just kind of put them down. I want them kind of around the edges, but I still at this point have no idea what the plan is, how I am going to make these sections and the, the, the pages of this concertina come together. And so I decided to kind of allow the lines of the stencil to lead me. And I'm softening some of the, the background just to kind of tone it down just a little bit. I don't want to take away the beauty of that background. And part of me wanted to just fold it up and put it away. I loved it so much just the way that it was. Um, but I also loved what, what I saw in each section. And so that teal that was mixed with the acrylic inks in the first section, I wanted some of that in the second section. And I happen to have some collage paper that I made from my last Sunday inspiration and I decided to use it. I wet it and so I could really kind of manipulate it and I folded it over and really gave it some texture and um, it was the perfect match of teal color to um, the first section and so I just I went with it and every time that I said what if and I you know started to second guess myself I went for it anyway I said I'm gonna do it no matter what I'm not gonna second guess myself and I did it anyway I'm softening the edges of those papers so I can integrate that into the page and have it not feel so square and stuck on and have it kind of match the you know the theme of these two pages these two sections and I love how it once it dried I love 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 how it looked I mean it's there but it's not there and it feels like it's part of what we did in the first section now I see this tree you can see part of how where I'm starting my my branches from I saw this tree in the page and each section revealed to me something something like this that made me go hmm I wonder if I followed that you know idea if I followed what I'm seeing and every time that I did um, it it was joy it just it it went the way that it was supposed to and it doesn't always do that and yet I didn't care if I made this tree and it was awful. I, I was doing it for the joy of creating, for the joy of letting go. And I know I'm going to say that a thousand times through this process, but I think we have to sometimes hear things on repeat to get the idea that if we can let go of perfection, if we can let go of what someone might think, who's going to see this? Well, a thousand people, because I'm doing it for you guys. But it for you, who will see yours? Is it just for you? Will your friend see it? Won't your friend say, see the beauty in it, or the story, or the meaning? So who cares what it looks like? And when we make the messes, even in the worst, worst projects that I've ever done, I've always, always gained something. And the freer I become as I create, the more I enjoy the process. And the more I enjoy the process, the more I create. So let go. Promise me you will do that with this project if you decide to create. 
So I'm using my um, General's Charcoal Pencil in Extra Soft, and I'm using some soft pastel pencils to really accentuate my tree. And I really followed a lot of the lines that were in the background to create it. And then of course, I, you know, went rogue and did my own thing too, just to kind of balance things out. But as I get real particular about, you know, the tree and how it's looking, I'll hold my pencil really close to the, to the end of the pencil. But when I hold it back at the back, that's, that's when I'm free. When I'm just kind of getting super sketchy lines and letting it kind of do its thing. And so when you start, you know, creating your tree, hold your pencil at the end and let it kind of roll through your fingers so you've got some really wiggly lines and then choke up on the pencil when you want your detail and have a little bit more control. So I put my tree in and you know I looked at the section and I'm like I just don't think I need anything else. I've added the stenciling and this is kind of the beginning of the journey so I left it just the way that it was. And this section is, this is my season of change, the act of noticing what I can let go. And um, I want you to notice what you can let go in your, in this season of your life, in your art, in so many things. And have a little bit more freedom. Ah, so much freedom. I'm using a little bit of raw, um, raw transparent raw umber acrylic ink to kind of age the edges which is something that I enjoy and it's kind of my signature and letting it kind of free flow just like the rest of everything that we have been doing and that I'm going to shade the edges of this section and um touch up just a few things around the edges with some black soft pastel and we're going to call this section done and tomorrow we will do another section. All right my friends I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you um, follow along all week long to Sunday and I will see you in the next video.